Good morning. It's Monday, October 9th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Sabbath, and our scripture is Deuteronomy chapter 5, where Moses writes that God said, Observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy as the Lord your God has commanded you. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath day of rest, dedicated to the Lord your God. On that day, no one in your household may do any work. This includes you, your sons and daughters, your male and female servants, your oxen and donkeys, and other livestock, and any foreigners living among you. All your male and female servants must rest as you do. Remember that you were once slaves in Egypt, but the Lord your God brought you out with his strong hand and powerful arm. That is why the Lord your God has commanded you to rest on the Sabbath day. The Ten Commandments are urban legends to many people, a series of trite religious no-nos fraught with threats of what will happen to you if you trespass. There used to be those blue laws where businesses had to be closed, no selling on Sunday. Those who chose to skip worship on Sundays were something of a pariah in the last century. Many pastors would deliver blistering sermons on how heathens would pass by the church on their way to heaven knows what kind of evil practices. Now, in full disclosure, I did my share of a somewhat lower temperature veiled threat of those, a gentler kind, if you will, of God will get you if you transgress against his Sabbath rule. Now, don't get me wrong, I still have a very strong commitment to worship attendance. I believe a Christian cannot grow without consistent Bible study, worship, and a devotional life. I call it mostly the surrendered life. However, I do believe many people mistake the Sabbath as being the rules of no-nos rather than the blessing of do this. The difference between the no-no and the this do is in what God intended for his creation. With Sabbath, the point is cycles and limitations. A closer study of why God doesn't want us to touch some things and not do some things is that they're harmful to us. Electricity, for instance, is good when used properly. It is death when you grab a live wire just for the thrill. Sabbath for the human is a preventive measure against forfeiting a twofold blessing. Part one of the blessing is rest. We were designed to rest periodically. Everything in nature cycles. Our bodies need rest in these cycles. Time to kick back, recharge, and enjoy. Part number two of the blessing is that we need reminders because we are so prone to distraction. A chief purpose in God's commandment to keep the Sabbath holy is a reminder of how we need to worship so that we'll keep our perspective of what's important, what's right, pure, lovely, and wholesome. Without those positive grace reminders, we will degenerate from being children of God and become wide open to the enemy's temptations. For you today. So, are you feeling a little weary? Sabbath is waiting. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.